haya mtazamaji wetu wa runinga ya Hope Channel Kenya na kukaribisha tena kwenye vipindi vyetu vya siku ya leo lakini kwenye kipindi cha storyline jina langu ni Catherine Yamino Ntita nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu yeye ni mwema leo nimetembelea rafiki yangu wa miaka mingi lakini sijamuona karibu miaka kumi imepita sasa Huyu mama na mfahamu sana sababu ile miaka wengine tulikuwa vijana vijana hivi alikuwa kijana pia alikuwa mtu anapenda kuimba kwa sauti na kucheka kwa sauti lakini zaidi ni mtu ambaye anampenda Mungu tulikuwa tunakutana kwa mikutano ya Kikristo sasa jina lake ni Millicent Odhiambo Mili jina lako la katikati ni gani Atieno Atieno jina mawili katikati ni uh -huh. Lilian Atieno Aha uh -huh. sasa ni Millicent Lilian Atieno Odhiambo uh -huh. Wow that's the real you <laughs> Ulizaliwa wapi Ah uh, nilizaliwa mamangu yoniambia nilizaliwa katika hospitali nyingine kule kisi ilikuwa inaitwa Swedish Hospital Aha huko ndio aliniambia aliniza uh, lakini kukua kwangu nikakuwa upande za nyeri zaidi ilikuwa na kisumu kidogo alafu kukua mpaka nikawa msichana mkubwa ilikuwa ni nyeri mm. yes yani nikisikia ati ulizaliwa hospitalini naamini mamako alikuwa anafanya kazi ama no, babake exactly mamangu <laughs> alikuwa ni mwalimu ye ndio wale wasichana wa kwanza kwa kwenda Uh, secondary those uh, secondary siku hizo eh. nyakati zake mhm mm ndio the pioneers wa Butere high school mm -hmm. first girls who ever went to school mm -hmm. in this country wow my mother ni mmoja wao wewe ulikuwa ni mtoto wa ngapi mimi ni mtoto wa pili wa pili na mkoa ngapi tuko wa wa tano okay uh, lakini wa kwanza akaaga okay pole mm. Sasa hivyo wewe ndio wa kwanza yes, kwa sasa. Yes, nimechukua hiyo shukani mm. kwa mtoto wa kwanza. Mm, si ni kazi ngumu. Ni kazi ngumu. <laughs> <laughs> sasa ulizaliwa kwa familia ya Wakristo? Eh, mama alikuwa ni Mkristo, baba alikuwa si Mkristo. Baba alikuja akawa Mkristo katika uzeeni mwake. Mm, ya, lakini tukikua alikuwa si Mkristo. Alikuwa aende kanisani, alikuwa hana mambo na kanisa. Hmm. lakini mama ndiye alikuwa ni mkristo tulielekeza hmm. katika njia ya ukristo mm -hmm. hmm. na hiyo sasa ilikuwa je wakati unaona eh, mzazi mmoja aende kanisani hmm. na mmoja anaenda ilikuchanganya kidogo na ilikuwa wala haikutuchanganya kwa sababu jambo ambalo niliona unique baba alikuwa amempa mama nafasi zake za kwenda kanisani bila tatizo kabisa. Mm. So, so kitu ki, kitu mimi nilikuwa nikijua wanaume hawaendangi kanisa rahisi. Hiyo ndio kitu niliona ni kawaida yeye kutoenda sababu sikuwahi kuona akienda. Hata mara ya kwanza sisi ku, mimi kumuona akienda kanisani alikuwa ni mkatoliki. Mm. Uh, na kule kwetu hakukuwa na kanisa la SDA. So tulienda Christmas moja na akatutoa sote twende katika kanisa lake. Na ndio ilikuwa mara ya kwanza yeye kuzunguza mambo ya kanisa. Ya, ya kanisa. Kile siku hiyo naye siji nini kafanyika akapewa kiti na kiti kavunjika kaanguka. Hmm. Na hakuwahi kuzunguza kuhusu kanisa tena wala kurudi kanisani. So mm -mm. akaacha kanisa na mambo ya mama. Hmm kila alikuwa anatuhimiza na kuuliza umeenda kanisani katika uzeni mwake after retirement ndio akaweza ku, kuingia adventist na akabatizwa na hata akaaga akiwa ni church elder amen mm. kwa hivyo hiyo pia inatuambia kwamba don't write anybody off mm -mm. Mm -mm. kila mtu ana wakati wake wakati wake amen mm. nilichukua muda sana actually after his retirement they aliweza kubatizwa alikuwa anafanya kazi gani alikuwa anafanya na Kenya Industrial Estates okay he was a, I think a supervisor mm -hmm. he was a supervisor mm -hmm. in the Kenya Industrial Estate Industries mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. na wewe masomo ulianzia wapi sasa masomo nikaanzia Kisumu kutoka Kisumu nika 
nikaenda Nyeri nilishi sasa na babangu nikaenda Nyeri nikamalizia na secondary yangu primary na secondary nikaenda Nyeri Ngandu Girls mm. hapo katikati nikaenda nikamalizia Kisumu Girls mm -hmm. alafu then I came back went to KMTC and nikafanya physiotherapy then I left again physiotherapy and I did a degree in psychology and then I did counseling. Yes, as a physiotherapy, you can get a job, but I can't even find a job for a mego to do that. Ah, ah, ah. Sasa, na mamba ya Kristo wako sasa. Uliendelea tangu totoni hivo hivo? Tangu totoni, nilikuwa toto amba alipenda mamba ya michezo. Sports. Na siku hizo michezo haswa ilikuwa inafanyika siku za sabato, Saturday. A lot of sports za shule. So, tangu tutoni nilikuwa na cheza mchezo inaitua hide and seek na mama yangu na kalisa. Tana nilikuwa ni hide and seek sana. Mpaka ikata ikaleta tatizo kati yangu na yeye. Ndiyo ikabidi anirushe kwa babangu. Sabu nikuwa sasa ni kichwangumu. Ikifika kuna games ya kuenda, sitaki kumsikiza, minu nataka kuenda games. Na nikienda kanisani tunafika na kika kidogo, mimi na hepa. Kitoka nisha hepa. So, I did not quite shikilia mambo ya dini. Wakati nilikuwa na pelekwa, nilikuwa naenda. When I was still young. That one I had no voice. But when kidogo I had a voice na akili zangu, tukacheza mchezo wa head and sick sana. Hata na kumbuka mamangu wakini lazimisha ni ingie class la baptism. Siku hizo class la baptism ilikuwa ni ngumu sana. Mkua mnapita mihitihani, mpaka muosha nyumba ya pasta. Na kuosha nyumba ya pasta ilikuwa ni Sundays. Na Sundays tunaenda practice ya michezo. So, ikanileteta tatizo. I was never even able to complete my baptism class because you had to go ilibidi upitie mambo hayo ya kuosha ama kulima mahali kutengeneza compound ya kanisa kulikuwa na practical community work wakati ulikuwa na pitia baptismal class na hayo singeweza kufanya kwa sababu ya mipangilio yangu ya michezo so mwishoe bama kani peleka niishi na baba na baba kuwa hindi kanisani nikawa na uhuru kidogo naenda kanisani lakini pia najipanga na mambo yangu so siku shikilia mambo ya kanisa sana kwa muda ingawaje nilikuwa katika familia mama ambaye alikuwa ni mtu wa dini kabisa mm -hmm. anafunga kitambaa nguo ndefu ndio nikachukua hii tabia ya nguo ndefu <laughs> fruits don't fall far from the tree yes hivyo hivyo uh, one time nakumbuka mara siku moja niliingia kwaya nilikuja sasa ku nilikuja Kisumu girls and it was a day school so saturday na nilikuwa mkubwa kidogo nikaingia kwaya ya vijana hapo ndio nikaanza sasa kujihusisha na mambo ya kanisa but again just to be a little naughty niliingia kwaya vijana nilikuwa nimeanza sasa kubale so sama wa macho pia ikaanza kuwa ile unaona watu unaona watu so nikaona hii kwa ina vijana bana acha niingie hii nionekane so sikuingia tu kwa sababu napenda it was another intention ile usichana umeniingia at another level but kuingia hivyo ndio sasa hata nikaingia amen hiyo niliingia sikuingia ati mambo ya kanisa nilingia sababu ya you eh, know na kitana eh, smart nice acha niingie kwaya ndio anione mimi ni mtu wa kanisa then that is how nilingia na nikaingia kwaya na mwishoni nikaenda nikawa baptized Amen. at at that level yes wow. so nilingia finally but ndio nikaanza sasa ku kuwa na some commitment mm. na consistent sabbath na hapo ndio mwishoe nikamaliza na kwa ajili ya kwenda kanisani nikakutana na Odiambo kule Nairobi Central Church. Wakati tulikuwa tunaenda pia Nairobi Central Church. Now it's again through the church that I met him. So, ikanisaidia hivyo hivyo. Sasa, niambie. Uyu elder na mfahamu inga wa melala. Na tunashukuru mungu walikuwa na mpenda sana. Sana, sana, sana. Sasa, niambie mulikutana haje. 
Elda, tulikutana tulikutana through kazi yake. Na kazi yake alienda kumtembelea. So kwenda kumtembelea aka alienda kutembelea boyfriend yake. Mm -hmm. At their room in the university. Sasa boyfriend yake alikuwa ni rafiki ya Elda. Mm -hmm. So alipokosa boyfriend yake akaniambia acha tupite hapa nisalimie kazini yangu. Oh ulikuwa na yeye. Hiyo e, rafiki yake. Ulikuwa kazini yake. Kazini yake. Eh. Siku ya kumtembelea unajua vile wasichana wakienda kutembelea marafiki zao saa zingine wanabebana. Eh. So akanibeba nipeleke niende ni salimie rafiki yangu. So because I was doing nothing that day in college nikaenda tukaenda na yeye akakosa huyo boyfriend ya marafiki yake. So akaniambia acha tupitie ndugu yangu yukuwa yuko hapa. Nika tukifika nikapata wanaenda for football match. Kule fika alikuwa anapenda kandanda sana. Mm. So tukazunguza tu hapo kidogo na tukaachana. Lakini Saturday the next Saturday tukakutana na Nairobi Central Church. Sasa akanikumbuka, "Ah, wewe ndio ulikuja?" Hapo ndio sasa mazungumzo yakaanza. "Ah, ulikuja, hivyo hivyo." Huo ulikuwa ni mwaka gani? Uh, that was in 19 uh, 1990. 1989. 1989. 1989. Mm -hmm. Uli mpenda kwa nini? 19... No, 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 1987. 87. 1987. Mm -hmm. mm. Nini nikilikupendeza kwa ake? Kwa kweli, hakuna jambo lilinivuta kwa ke immediately. In fact, walikuwa wawili siku hiyo. Huyu kazi ni ake ya huyu msichana na rafiki yake. Mwenye alinivuta macho ni rafiki yake. Ya yeah, kunivuta macho kabisa 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 Sasa mwenye alinivuta macho naye haku siku haku nipenda haku ni siku siku pendo haku haku niona mwenye siku vutwa na yeye akakuona <laughs> 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 So akaanza tulipokutana sasa akaanza simu akaniuliza naishi wapi at that time nilikuwa kwa anko yangu uh, i was on holiday so i was at my uncle's at ECD nilikuwa ECD naishi wapi nikasema naishi ECD akajaribu jaribu kunitafuta lakini si sina ile moto sina ile mori mm. Mm. but akawa persistent sana akawa persistent sana sasa naye kazi yake akaanza kunisukuma because kazi yake uh, was also how would i call her a friend mm -hmm. a friend to us she, mm -hmm. she was also related to us far in mm -hmm. very far relatives so alikuwa anaishi na aunt yangu so naye alikuwa ananisukuma sukuma akisema millicent so hiyo kusukuma sukuma mwishoni nikasema acha nimsikize so nilipokubali kumsikiza nikapata mtu ambaye ana roho ya upole kabisa mm -hmm. na nafikiri ili neutralize my aggressiveness mm. in the campaign because <laughs> me, 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 is very calm yes. so nafikiri nikapendwa na hiyo calmness yake mm. na nikampa nafasi tukaanza kuongea mm. alafu hatimaye hatimaye akaja kwetu uh, wazazi wangu hawakuwa ha, hakuchukua muda akasema anataka kunichukua kama mke wake na you can't be you can't imagine kwa nini huyu mwanamume alikuwa ni wapekee katika hii hali ya kuchumbiana kuna wakati nilienda kumtembelea kari akiwa anacheza mpira na kari walikuwa wamemweka wamempatia mahali so i'd gone to say hello tukirudi alinikosea alinikosea vibaya sana na mimi uh, nimekuwa mtu ambaye ni mkali sana katika maisha yangu very aggressive na kupigana vita ilikuwa ni jambo la kawaida. Kwa sifikiri mara mbili. <laughs> Kilikosea ni tumalizane kama wananishinda kwa nguvu tuheshimiane. Ningana uh -huh. na vile ukinishinda na kuheshimu. Nikikushinda uniheshimu. That was my language. Hii maneno kurusha si kwa nayo. So naye akanikasirisha na kumbuka nikigeuka nikimshika shati. Hmm na ujue wakati huo pia nimefanya karate taekwondo mm -hmm. na black belt so najiona nina nguvu sana naweza chapa mtu yote unajua ujana ukikuingia mm. another way you think you are strong you think you all those mambo yote 
Udhema hata kashanga na mima kanyuzo, nataka kunipiga. Nataka mbe kwanza sikupige. <laughs> Kwenye ukasirishe? Kwenye uza ningulesha hivyo? Why? Kijana wa wenyewe mpole, haka shika tu mkono wangu, haka sema, kama nime ukasirishe mpole. Nisame. Hmm. Badaye, nikaona huyu, yangu na yangu, kui? Kwa. Kwa. Hmm. Mtu nime mshika, matai. Hmm. Alipo nipigia simu tena. Akuse kwa hapi, chaku kuona. Na haka nipeleka uh, uh, lunch, na kumbuka. Haka nipeleka lunch, Tukaenda aburata mtu katembea, nikasema, wa? Uyu ni tofauti. Hmm. Because me, even the wanaume walikuwa na kwa scared na mimi. Wakijo wanaona uyu anaweza kukupiga hmm. na simpigi badu. Lakini uyu ni mwemshika matai. <laughs> na bada mpiga simu. <laughs> nikasema basi uyu wacha nirudi nyuma, hmm. ni uwe mpole. Kawa mpole na ea, kasi ambe nataka kumichukua, kaja kwa mko yangu. Anko yangu pia wakawambia hui mwenye unamuwa, unamwelewa. Wakambiwa, eh, ni kama namwelewa. Anti yangu mwingine akasema utaishi na hui ukweli. Wakambiwa, eh, tutaishi. Hivyo hivyo, tukakaa, haka nichukua. He came home, he did dowry. Tuka chukua. Now we did a wedding later. Mm. After dowry, mm. we just started staying together. Mm. Uh, because I think I also... I also felt like, ay, uh, sijawai ono mwana umu na nipenda na mangumi yangu yote. Mm. <laughs> Sitaki kuchelewesha hii mambo. <laughs> <laughs> Ukipiga mangumi ulikuwa kanisani lakini. <laughs> ulikuwa kanisani. Mm. Ulikuwa kanisani. Mm hii -hmm. kanisa imefunika vitu vii. Watu wana yomba. Lakini tabia zao, mm. zaitaji wakofu. <laughs> <laughs> Nilikuwa kanisani. I was, mm. I was in church, I was singing in the choir. But I had that, my, that aggressive side. Ambaye muishowe uh, katika hali ya kuishi ni kailewa kwa nini nilikuwa hivyo. Mm. Uh, but uh, na imenisaidia. Na mwenye amenisaidia kujelewa ni huyo huyo odhiambu. Mm. Ni haka nisaidia kujelewa. Hata nikaanza kutulia na kuchukua vitu kwa, kwa upole na siyo kwa vita. Shida ilikuwa ni nilipo kuwa nikikuwa. Mamangu, niliachwa nikaishi na auntie yangu mm -hmm. for a long time. When I was still young, in my mind, nikaona wazazi wangu wanipendi, wameitupa. Mm -hmm. Sabu, dada zangu, wote walikuwa naishi na wazazi wangu. Mm -hmm. Mimi tu, njo nilienda nikaishi na auntie. Na auntie. Njo najua, auntie, anaweza kuwa mzuri, lakini si mamako. Mm -hmm. Si mamako. Mm -hmm. Na mtu ambaye kama si mamako, Hata kikutendea mazuri mara nyingine uone. 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 So sama I used to feel like ningekuwa better, ningekuwa na mama yangu. So nikawa na ile rejection na kujiona, mm. nimetupwa. Na zaidi mm. ya hiyo, nimekuwa na migu mikubwa. Big legs. Mm -hmm. So migu yangu yalikuwa ni point of taunting. Mm -hmm. uh, migu yako ni mkua. Hata baba yangu alikuwa na sama hata chukua migu yangu wapeleke kwa factory. Uchongwe. <laughs> Ichongo. Ichongo sababu ni mikubwa sana, ni nashinda viatu haraka sana na mpeleka asara. So, nikaanza kujitharau na migu yangu, nikajiona mama yangu, wameniacha na anti yangu. So, I had a feeling of rejection. Your aggressiveness was my way of defending yourself. Of defending my inner self, ambaye ilikuwa under turmoil. Exactly. So, I didn't feel love. Siku. Mm. Ndiyo udhiambo aliporudi bada ya kumshika, uh, shika tai, nika gundua wa. This is love. Mm. I have never known love. Siku nimejua upendo ni nini. Mm. Alafu ni sababu nilikuwa na hiyo feeling, nilikuwa mtuto mtukutu sana. So I was, used to be beaten a lot. Hiyo pia, hiyo beating. Mm. Nika conclude sipendwi. Yeah. Sipendwi kabisa. Mm -hmm. So that aggressiveness, ilitokea na hiyo, hiyo, hiyo upbringing ambaye nilikuwa na ya. Mm -hmm. Mbele nisumbwa for a very long time. Na it's possible kuamba kuna wengi wanapitia mambo kama haya without very even knowing the cause of their very problem. Very. E unawana mtu ni mkali kwa nyumba hata kipiga watoto na wapiga kwa nguvu. 
they are not at peace with themselves it's because mm. they are not at peace with themselves mm. ukiwa una 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 amani na utulivu na who you are na vile ulivyo na umechukubali mm. hata mtu akikukosea kuna vile una react tofauti mm. so mimi ungenikosea kidogo i overreact mm. kwa sababu ya sikuwa na amani with myself mimi mm. mwenyewe nilikuwa na na vita vingi ndani yangu nikiwa nimejidharao nikiwa na Jonas si sawa hata kwa muda nilikuwa na Jonas si mrembo niliji niliji nili, 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 i didn't didn't like myself mm. yes so ndio kaona nikawa na hiyo aggressive nature yeah. mm. Mm. so maisha yako na Walter yalikuwa aje tuka tukapatana Walter alikuwa ni mpole sana hana maneno pole na mimi nilikuwa simple mimi ni mtu wa nikiendesha gari nataka ifike 190 ndio <laughs> naona gari inaenda hiyo hiyo style ya <laughs> maisha Walter naye ni yule akiendesha gari ni 60 70 so unaona watu ah, wawili exact opposite wana, wana kuishi pamoja <laughs> na Walter alikuwa amependa Mungu sana sana kupitia Walter nikawa rebaptized by the way Amen. Kwa rebaptized 92 tena nikasema, "Hai mimi nikijiangalia na ni kwa vile ambavyo alikuwa akinipeleka. Ni yule mwanaume ambaye hata nikirusha maneno, alikuwa anirushi maneno. Yeye ndiye alikuwa wa kwanza kusema pole. Nikukosea pole. Na akiniambia pole, inarudi na nichapa kofi. Na chosema, "Hai." Na ina ilinifanya nianze kujiangalia tena mara mbili mara tatu. Mm-hmm. Ndio nikagundua, "Wa, there is something about me." bayi inahitaji mabadiliko. Na ndio hata nikaenda for counseling course kujaribu oh, wow. kujitambua. Because niligundua kuna kitu ambao kunihusu ambaye haiko sawa kulingana na vile na treat na nawasiliana na Walter na ananijibu nikagundua I have issues. It's in this counseling course ndio nikaelewa shida yangu ilitokea wapi hmm. na tangu nilipotafuta I'm a very calm person naweza nikasirisha na nisikasirike hata watoto wangu walishangaa mimi hata watoto wangu kijana wangu kwa simu yake ya kwanza alipata ni save simba marara kwa sababu nilikuwa <laughs> <laughs> extremely aggressive by the way hmm. extremely na hata wa, ukisikia story ya ndugu zangu na dada zangu sasa tu kwa marafiki mara nyingine nilikuwa nawaweka chini wanalala chini flat na tumbo juu ninakimbia juu ya tumbo zao <laughs> so you can see that character nilikuwa na behavior ambayo was was funny when i look back at it nasema nikipata mtoto kama huyo sijui nitaishi naye kivipi hata nashangaanga vile mamangu aliishi na mimi mm-hmm. but i realized i was projecting That hmm. that's internal, that anger that tanga that bitterness hmm. you are not dealt with it hmm. ili nisumbua sana wow. ili nisumbua sana mpaka hata mtu ake, alikuwa akiniambia beautiful nikaenda kwa mama nitukana it's like hmm. they are teasing me they are mocking me they are so a lot of men hata katika karne hizo wakijaribu kunitongoza they were meeting ile jibu ambayo unashangaa kwani ilikuwa ni vita mimi <laughs> <laughs> nimekupenda <laughs> tu <laughs> au tangi kupendwa tangi kupendwa na wewe sikuamini au mimi mwenyewe sijajiamini nimejiona sifai nimejiona sifai na ndio nikaanza kufanya vitu ambavyo more of men nikaingia karate nikaanza football nilikuwa nafanya tu vitu towards men na nataka kuwa na nguvu hata wasichana nilikuwa sipigani nao nilikuwa nataka nipigane na wanaume because i was trying to get my space and feel accepted nikishinda mwanaume sasa mtani appreciate So I was doing funny things to appreciate. You can imagine at one time in school au wakati nilikuwa natafuta appreciation nilikuwa naona mtu akipoteza akipata kitu ambaye imepotea shule anasifiwa kwenye kwenye parade mm. anasifiwa 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 kweli. Sasa mimi nikataka hiyo kusifiwa pia. Nikapoteza pesa yangu. So nikachukua pesa nikapeleka kwa headmistress. Nikamwambia mzee nimeko nimeokota niokota lakini sasa hiyo pesa ikatangazwa kwa parade for a month nobody is coming for it mm. so mrs sakanita hii pesa uliokota kweli <laughs> <laughs> mm. ama uliokota 
Nima naona ni kwa nini pesa mtu anaweza kosa ku claim Millicent? Yes. Nikasema sasa sije labda ameogopa. Akisema no, it's the first time. Hmm. Ah, kanida DC. Ndio kaambia hapana. Ni mimi ni pesa yangu nilileta sababu nilikuwa nataka nisifiwe. Oh. Kwa kwa parade. Hmm. So watoto wakikua ni vizuri wazazi wajimudu kuwaonyesha ni wa maana. Mm -hmm. They feel loved. Because mm -hmm. me I I grew up a child who felt totally rejected. Na intention ya wazazi unajua you know I think they were very honest in what they were doing. Yeah, wow. How ni auntie. Unajua kwa nini waliniweka nini niishi na auntie yangu? Kwa sababu auntie yangu alikuwa na msichana size yangu. So kwa uh -huh. walisema ah, wakikuwa pamoja yes. at least ako na mtu rika yake wanaweza kucheza naye. So to them they meant well. They meant very well. Lakini kwangu niliona nilitu. Nilitu sipendwi. Mm -hmm. Si si wa maana. So ndio nikaanza aggressive behavior. Mm -hmm. mm. Na nikaanza <sighs> vitu vya kutafuta attention. I was mm -hmm. more of an attention seeker. Seeker. Wow, Mungu amekutoa mbali mimi. Sana. God is gracious. Sana. I hope that's what you help people with. As a counselor. Eh, naongea hata nikienda kuhubiri huwa nasema story yangu. Huwa mahubiri yangu huwa napenda kuzungumza yale mambo ambayo nimeyapitia. Umeyapitia. Kwa sababu kwa kuona nilikuwa hivi, huwa siubiri kuonyesha mimi ni msafi. Mimi si msafi. Mimi pia ni ni mwanadamu na ngangana na kufika binguni. Mm -hmm. So if God can bring me to this mm -hmm. then even you are not hopeless mm -hmm. by giving my story. That's what I think. That's what I uh even if you napenda hata ku kwa kwa mahubiri yangu. Mbona mm -hmm. jaribu kulinganisha sana na maisha yangu kama Millicent. Mm -hmm. Ili usifikirie watu ni malaika. Mm -hmm. Mtu anahubiri ye ni malaika. Hapana mm -hmm. kuna amepitiwa, amekuwa refined amekuwa sharpened na tabia na, nji, na njia fulani mm. katika maisha yake ya kuishi. Amen. Sasa ninajua Walter alikufa. Mm. Ni nini kilifanyika? Ah, it's uh, Walter. Tuli Let me start from somewhere. Mm. Walter tulipo patana alikuwa mwanamume ambaye ametoka katika familia a humble background mm -hmm. na kwao ni yeye ndiye alikuwa wa kwanza kupata kazi katika boma yao na baba yake alikuwa na wanawake tatu mm -hmm. na watoto so alipopata kazi wa kwanza Si sasa alikuwa na majukumu sana. Saidia ndugu zake. Naye akawa juju. Akaanza maisha ya kuishi na mke mapema. Mm -hmm. So tukawa na mzigo ya kulea jamii ya yake. Mm -hmm. Tukawalea ndugu zake na dada zake tukawalea. Sasa this time imefika amewalea wote wamepata mahali wenye wameenda kusoma wamesoma wamemaliza maisha inaendelea this is now 20 years into marriage wanamaliza so this time ndio tukakufikiria ai wacha tujenge boma hatuna boma nyumbani mm -hmm. so wacha tujenge boma akawa amenipigia simu tushapata shamba mali inaitwa uriri migori so tukapigana simu the day before akaniambia kesho atanipigia simu wakati ashaeka pesa kwenye account niende nilipe shamba alikuwa wapi wakati alikuwa Nairobi sasa ameenda si Nairobi alikuwa anafanya kazi na KPL yeah. akapata kazi Kenya pipeline yes lakini ndiye alikuwa second month alikuwa bado yuko on probation alikuwa mm. yakuwa permanent bado mm. ndiye alikuwa on probation so the next day mimi nikingoja simu ya Walter ya kuniambia shaeka pesa nifunge safari niende nilipe shamba tuone sasa tuanze kujenga that's wakati Walter anakufa ndio tulikuwa tumeanza kuishi kama jamii kama mimi na yeye bibi na bwana 
Hapo mm. awali tulikuwa tunaishi kwa mm. Kwa nyumba yangu at one time tulikuwa tunaishi na watu 15. Mm. Acha na, na kumbuka mtoto wangu hii chakula kukula chakula kitamu. Sisi kubadilisha diet ilikuwa ni mboga. Ukibadilisha spinach kesho unakula sukuma au unakula cabbage hivyo ndio umebadilisha diet mm. because it was difficult. Uh, na watoto wangu wamekua katika hiyo hali ya kuwa squeeze na watu wengi kwa nyumba. Nakumbuka kuna wakati uh, Walter alikuja na mgeni. Na nikasema aye mgeni atakula mboga. Nikakimbia ni nume mayai, nikapika mayai. Sasa walikuwa wamekaa kwa kijimeza, ilikuwa si coffee table, ilikuwa juu kidogo lakini si dining table, so wamekaa. Wakati wanaomba, msichana akaona mayai. Wako wangu. Kuona mayai ambaye anaona mjoana mboga. Wakati watu wamefunga macho wanaomba, yeye aka crawl na ndiye amekuwa anza ku crawl. Alikuja akachota hiyo mayai, akaingia chini ya meza, akaanza oh. kuikulia chini. Yeye <laughs> <laughs> anaona kitu kigeni, it's mm. precious na naitaka. Mm. So hiyo ndio maisha niliishi. Maisha ya kukaza maisha kukaza kamba. So wakati Walter anakufa sasa ndio tunasema ah, jamii sasa tujifanyie nini? Tushapata hii nyumba, tunalipa mm. pole pole mortgage. Sasa akasema tupate nyumba nyumba. Nyumba. Nili mshawishi tulinunue nyumba town kwanza. Kwa sababu nasema hapa ndio tunaishi kwingi, hivi mm. na nyumba hapa. Mm. Alafu nyumba sasa tukipata nyumba hapa tujenge nyumbani pole pole pole. pole, pole. pole. Akanisikiza tukafanya hivyo. Hasa mimi niko excited na ngoja nipigiwe simu niende nichukue pesa niende nyumbani nyo shamba. Napigiwa simu saa nne. Nakumbuka nilikuwa na rafiki zangu wengine town. Muslim. Mtu anapigia simu anaeleza Millicent. Unajua bwana yako jana alipigwa bunduki na na wa, waizi amekufa. Hivyo kwa simu hivyo. Can you imagine? Fortunately, I was not driving, I was doing nothing. I was just seated like this. Lakini kitu nilifanya ni nilishuka nikakaa chini. Nikaanza kuuliza watu, "Walter amekufa?" Huyo mtu anashangana mimi. Nikawauliza wote, "We, Walter amekufa?" Walipogundua na wao wanipatie jibu, kuzi huyu mtu naye ameniambia hivyo na amefunga simu. Haja nipatie hata nafasi ya kumuuliza swali nyingine. Ameniacha hivyo. Nikatoka nje kuendesha gari nirudi nyumbani akaniambia wale wakaja wakasema ai inaonekana umepata ujumbe nzito huwezi endesha gari nikakorofishana nao hapo nikajiendesha nikikuja nikiingia hii gate nikapata kanisa imejaa nikashangaa ah wote amekufa unajua yule amempata tu ile message na meenda nikapata naye watu wake wakazi wamekuja washakata ndege tunaenda Nairobi washaenda kushule wanaenda kuleta watoto. So ni watoto na ngoja tunaenda Nairobi. Mimi kwa akili yangu nikasema ah ah mtu hajakufa. Mtu amekufa. So nikasema ai ilipata nimepata about about three months later earlier nilifanya crusade parklands. Wakati nimesimama kwa crusade mtu mwingine mwana wazimu akaja mbio kwenye kwenye pulpit mali tulikuwa tumesimama Dickon so kajaribu kumzuia nikamwambia no mwacha akuje akakuja mad mad chafu mad na hizi rasta ambazo zimekaa siku nyingi akikuja nikamwambia piga magoti tulikuwa na pasta monene nikaita pasta monene aje akapiga magoti nilipomwambia piga magoti akapiga magoti mimi na pasta monene tukamwombea tukaomba 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 alipoamka kwa miguu the man was same mm -hmm. he was not mad again he mm -hmm. came back to his senses Amen. He had been mad. Alikuwa mwenda wazimu kwa miaka ishirini. Alikuwa ni mtu wa ame. Kuna mama mwingine pia mba alikuwa na tamani mtoto. So nikaenda kwa maombi na yeye. Hakapata mjamzito. Hmm. So wanta alipokufa, nikasema, ah, hii ni setting. Wanta ya, amelala tu. Nitakapo muombea. Tafufuka. Kama mwenda wazimu wanaweza anaweza kuwa mzima kwa maombi hata hii Mungu anataka kuonyesha utukufu wake 
So your confidence, mimi watu wanalia sili, mimi angalia watu like, nini ya mujui, ha mujui, wata anafufuka. So nikambiu niende mochari, nikasema hata mochari siendi. Nataka kufunga kwa maombi, mpaka kesho. Mama yake ya kikuja kutoka nyumbani, tukienda na yeye, nataka na yeye yaoni miraku. <laughs> wata kifufuka. Mkijana wangu nikaita watoto wangu nikaongelesha nikaongelesha nikawazunguzia kuhusu death I cancel my children what is death why death how I asked them ask me any question nikawajibujibu hapo hapo tuki nje nilikataa kuingia So the next day nikarudi hisi kula I was just in prayer real prayer Next day tukaenda I was not crying kwa natabasamu tu you're strong. In my hand, in my in my heart, I'm saying, yeah, it's a miracle in the waiting. The next day to King Lee Mochari, Mwili Lipoletwa. Mimi ni kapika magoti chid. Nika kamkono ju ya kichwa. Nika umba katika china la yesu. You said what you did. We will do more than what you did. Father, let life restore life, restore life. I prayed and prayed and prayed. Even the people who had started crying stopped crying. Nilifungua macho. Nikapata Walter bado ni baridi vile vile. Sijawahi piga nduru. Nilipiga nduru. Mbaka hata wenye walikuwa nalia waliwacha kulia mimi ndio sasa nikaanza kumbembelezo. I couldn't believe. Na nilikuwa napiga nduru because I felt God has let me down. Hmm. Yeye ni kufuka. Nimeamka bado ni baridi. Ai. How? And I had faith and I prayed. God I thought you said. Nika answer ku challenge Mungu I thought you said. Mama yangu akaja kujaribu kunibemeleza nikamwambia mama wewe ni widow. Na ninaona vile unasumbuka. Don't try and give me stories about you God will take care of you. Take care of you. Uh, you being taken care of. Mm -hmm. Mama akabaki. Why are you talking like that? Dada angu akamambia wachana na ye. Mali yuko sasa. She will tell you anything. Leave her alone. Nika achwa, nika clear, nika enda barabarani, nika rudi. I was telling God, you said your word. Mm. And I have faith that you said, as long as you have, you know how you quote for the, the Lord yes. verses? Yes. <laughs> I think he doesn't know them. Mm. Uh, Atamutu akiwa na mustard seed. Kulisema, can move mountains. Mm. Nothing. Nilitoka hapo, nika zirai, nika pele kwa Nairobi women. Hapo ndiyo pressure yangu ilianza. Mm. It was intense pain. Pain of death and pain of disappointment. Mm. That God didn't listen. I felt forgotten. In fact, watu walikuwa wanakuja kuni fariji. Wakija wanataka kuniubiria, mimi ndio na wafungulia. Ayo wanasema, what you're telling me? I'll tell you what you're telling me, I know. I don't need to preach. Because I was already losing it. Mm -hmm. God, that Bible you're telling me has not proved itself. Mm. At a time that I wanted it to prove itself. So what are you preaching to me? The only thing I listened to was songs. Wimbo. Wimbo ndio ilikuwa inanifariji. Atunakuja na kuhubiri. Sikusiki. Na maombi. Watu walikuwa naomba mina wangalia. Na shanga unaomba nini. Uneza kuomba. In my mind I was telling myself. Uneza kuomba zaidi ya vile ni meomba. Mwaka ni mefunga. So unaomba nini. Watoto wako walikuwa. Mtoto wako wakwanza walikuwa darasa gani. Ngapia. Mtoto wako wakwanza walikuwa form one. Form one. Na yule mdogo. Yule mdogo alikuwa standard three. Na huku wana kazi wakati huu. Siku wana kazi. Na Walter was the breadwinner. Totally. I was dependent on him. Mimi unajua nileja kazi ya tinaubiri. Unapeangwa ile fair yako na ile barasha ya sadaka. Unapewa hii na hii sadaka yako zile lose lose ni atani. Na unapewa fair yako. Ata siku upigi simu mm. nobody thinks you make calls or mm. you've been away for even a week maybe you are not earning anything no you're given your fare to it those times these days our church has improved i stopped work kabisa but i'm a professional but i stopped work 
And then when you stop work for a long time, getting back is not easy. Mm. It's not you easy. Because like now physiotherapy, techniques have changed. You, it's like you have to go back mm. to college. Now, uh, when was that? Which year was that? 2005. Yes, 2005. 2005. Mm. So, it was a little bit of a So, it was a little bit of a time. So, it was Na kumbuka, uh, wakati Walter amepigwa bunduki, watu wake wa Kenya pipeline, wakaenda kwa nyumba kama siko na wakachukua kompyuta. Siku yelewa. Na kitu ambaye iliwa Walter ni integrity yake. Walter hmm. alikuwa ni mtu haongwi. Na KPC ilikuwa inafanya computerization. And he was the head of, he was taken as head of computer. By the way, ili ujue mungu ni mungu wa ajabu. Walter alisomea accounts, hakusomea computer. Mm. Lakini alipopewa computerization ya port. Na alipewa at a time when he knew nothing about computer. He managed it. Ile wakati 2000 watu walikuwa nasema kila kitu ita collapse. That was when Walter was computerizing, managing the computerization of the port. So when he did it successfully and they were able to roll over, without any hitches, you 2000. Uh, he, he, that's how he now got into computer, computer world, mm. but his life was uh, accounting. Account, accounting. Mm. So I wondered why, and okay. we, before that, I'd gone to see him the weekend before. Mm -hmm. Na kuna tenda ilikuwa inashida sana. Mm. Ata alikuwa mekua offered 50 million. Ili akubali, because alipoenda akapata kuna kampuni ilipewa tenda, Lakini they were not qualified to do that job. Uh, Kenya vile leave you. Hmm. They were not qualified to do that job. So he asked it to be retended. I kampuni ilikuwa isha pewa 300 million. Hmm. So retendering na kampuni nyingine ikaishinda. A more qualified company. Ikabidi, it meant that these people had to return the 300 million. Hmm. Waka jaribu kumhonga, they even asked to give him 50 million, he refused. I remember that day he was on the phone. No, I can't do anything. It is the tender committee. And I, I don't know what the man was saying, but he kept telling him, no, it's the tender committee. It's not me. It's not me. So me, I believe it's that tendering that, shot, that made him be shot. Because he was shot. It was not carjacking. He was shot. Kwa sababu the report ya polisi, ilionyesha bullet ilitoka hapa, na ikapita ju, na ikalodge hapa. Which means, huyo mtu alikuwa nyuma yake, nyuma yake. in the car, hmm. ika lodge. But waka piga bunduki kwa, kwa drisha la gari, ah, from the inside, wati. na kwa kiti. So the policemen were trying to convince me, ati ilikuwa ni kajakas walipiga bunduki inje, ikapita bunduki, ikapita through kiti, ika travel down na ika travel up. Ikasema no, huyu alipigwa bunduki na watu ulikuwa na. Kwa ndani ya gari. Askari wakaniambia alikuja nyumbani na akaka. Lakini kuna wakati akatoka. Nikana kwa mamutu alimuita because alikuwa tu kwa truck suit. Akatoka. So I think that is how he met his death. It must have been planned. Mm. So when I saw K KPC, walienda wakachukua laptop. laptop. Mm. Then I asked them, kwa nini hamunga ni ngoja? Muchukue laptop nikisha kuja. What was in a hurry? Ama iyo laptop nilikuwa muhimu kuliko yeye. Or are you the ones who killed him? The MD akakasirika na mimi, aka announce KPC walikuwa asha kuja wakaeka tent, wakaleta plates, they were taking charge of the funeral of their staff. They were withdrawn. They withdrew the tent, they withdrew the plates. Na every employee akaambiwa they should not even contribute, they should not even come to that funeral.